Hello everybody. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. You're welcome to this week's Forex Outlook with Great White FX for the 20th of March to 20th of March to 24th of March 2023. So without wasting so much of your time, we're going to start off with the following pairs. We're going to start off with the US 100, the dollar index, the Euro USD. GBP USD, gold, euro GBP, yen basket, and pound yen. So, before we start that, we're going to look at the economic calendar for the coming week. So, looking at the economic calendar, Monday is going to be a quiet day. Tuesday, we have high impact news on Canadian dollar. Wednesday, it's going to be high impact news at 8 a.m. for pound. Then, FOMC by 7. Then on Thursday, we have Swiss National Bank Monetary Policy, that's by 9.30. And then we have um, Pound Break News by 1 p.m. Then the week finally winds down. But the major news we have is the FOMC, the Swiss and the Pound News going into the new week. So that's out of the way. Let's go into the, new, into the chart and see what we have. So looking at... Um, US 100, you can see that the week has closed as an engulfing, completely engulfing this previous down panel. If you notice, you could say it was a rejection from this daily fair value gap that price feel and turn from there. So going into the new week, we're expecting a little bit of a bullish move going into the new week, but price may retrace a bit. Price may retrace a bit before going back up. As you can see on Friday, closed as a doji. So we might see a little bit of a retracement before a continuation, targeting probably 12.775 or 12.8941 as either of these highs on the daily time frame. But already you can see that we have a low, we have a high. I have a lower low and then we have this high taking out so any down move on this any retracement on this will offer opportunities for a long on the nasdaq so the next we're going to be looking at is the dollar index now the dollar index let's go have a view from the weekly looking at the dollar index from the weekly perspective we have a swing on the weekly and we have an engulfing although the engulfing on this engulfing has a long a little bit lower week price thing close near the lows that shows a little bit of strength so going into the daily time frame we might see a little bit of a retracement going into the new week we might see a little bit of a retracement going into the new week before price finally continues back downside so if we go into the far time frame we we'll look at where price is Price is at this bullish shutter block. We have a change of brick or structure here. This swing high. Price has closed above it. So this might offer an opportunity for a little bit of retracement. Then a move back down going into the new. So the next we're going to be looking at is the Euro USD. Looking at the Euro USD, the weekly close of as an indecision card. Weeks on both sides. If we move into the daily time frame, to say it's more like in a range. It's more like in a range. But given the slightly bearish situation on the dollar index, this may retrace. This may rally. It may have gone for 1.0760 first. Then if that gives way, then it will go for 1.0804. So for this pair, what you'll be waiting on this pair is any retracement should offer an opportunity for price coming up to this high. So price may retrace a bit. It may retrace a bit. But as long as it stays above the previous week's high, the previous week's low, there's a possibility we might see price come into this zone here. So the next pair we're going to be looking at is the pound, the GBP USD. If we look at the GBP USD from the weekly perspective, it's clearly bullish. 
you can see that it has a clear bullish engulfing. So based on that, if we go into the daily time frame, we have this point to this point. That's what you have shaded here. That's what you have shaded here from here to here. So looking at price, price is within that area now. The possibility exists. This has a clearly a clearer picture of a bullish bias than Euro USD. This may be trace. This may be trace before continuing back to the upside. That is, if price doesn't go for the highs first. If price doesn't go for the highs first and starts to retreat, then we might see price try to come down to this four hour order block. Okay? Then continue back to either sweep 2204 or 1.2270. The next we're going to be looking at is gold. Gold was amazing this week. The weekly candle has closed as what you would call a bullish Marubuzo candle. So what's a bullish Marubuzo candle? Where the low, the open is equal to the low, as on a bullish candle. And the high is almost the same as the close. As, where you, as what you have on price. The last time you had something close to that is here. And then I think we have another here. But this size is pretty big for a long while. It's been a long while price had something like this. So if you look at the weekly price is at this point to this point. You got this rejection block here. So given that given that on the weekly the possibility exists going into the new day that we might see a bit of a retracement not a reversal a bit of a retracement that might offer opportunities for a continuation to the upside provided price does not take out 1998.46 first if it gaps into there and if it gaps into there and doesn't close back below 1988 then we might see price gone higher but for gold, gold for now is bullish. You'll be looking for opportunities, retracement with opportunities for bullish continuation. The next thing we're going to be looking at is Euro GBP as a pound, Euro pound. On the weekly, it's like more like has been in a range. If you look at it clearly on the weekly, it's been in a range of sorts. Now, this weekly candle has closed bearish. But bearish into this area here. It didn't close below it, it made sure it closed back above it. And this low price spiked it a bit. And this low here, if you notice, price spiked it and then closed back above. Now, going into the daily time frame, you can see we have this long um, lower weeks and then small bodies. A decrease in the candle body so i believe we might see a little bit of an a retracement on this pen we might see a little bit of a retracement because the price is not making new highs and basically it's not making obvious lows it's more like in a range so on the four hour this may retrace a bit as long as it stays below the previous week's low then we might see a further sweep of 87.18 on this pair. So the next pair we're going to be looking at is the yen basket. The yen basket, I use it to gauge the yen strength against the other currency pair. So looking at the yen basket from the weekly, I'll see that this weekly closed as a bullish momentum candle for the second week. So now we have a long Price didn't close near the highs on the weekly. Didn't close near the highs on the weekly. So, if we go into the daily time frame, we can see that we have what looks like a swing high on the daily. So, going into the new week, we might see a bit of a retracement here. My advice is, if we go into the one hour, we have this high. I was taking up our price. Price didn't close above it. 
then this higher low that was used to make this higher high price has broken below. So this might just be a retracement. This might give a retracement lower. Something like it. Might see this is something like this. Then price might continue back up on the end. So with that knowledge, we're going to go to the pound yen. So if we go to the pound yen, we could also see the same thing on the pound yen. Let's start from the weekly. Let's look at the weekly. The weekly close is bearish, but with the long lower week. It didn't close near the lows. It didn't close near the lows. If we move to the daily, this is what we have on the daily. We have a swing, a bullish swing on the daily of this structure point here. So with that knowledge, if we move into the four hour time frame, we can see we have a low. We have a high here, we have a lower low. A price has made a new high here. It's it's very clear on the one hour that we're looking at a bullish breaker here. We're looking at kind of like as I see to say bullish turtle soup. So I believe that we might see a little bit of a run, maybe to sweep these equal highs, feel this imbalance, and if price is going to continue down, then we might see a continuation back down in price. So that ends it for this week's review. I thank you all for taking your time to attend. I please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it goes a long way to help us continually post this every weekend for the new week i wish everybody a blessed and wonderful trading week ahead goodbye everybody